The National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota stands next to the river, from which across it, you can see a plethora of bald eagles perched or swooping like a gaggle of bats in a family reunion. They look very happy. As a younger man, I once saw a bald eagle uh, beset on a stray current of wind. Both of its wings were stretched out opposite directions, hugging the curve of our great planet. It was moving so dangerously fast, and it was so monstrous in its size, my younger mind mistook it to be some type of pterodactyl or mythological creature come to snatch us humans up and take back to its nest. The National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota, showcases five eagles, all having incurred some type of life-altering injury that no longer permits them to fly. Columbia, fractured her shoulder in a car accident and was also found to have lead poisoning. Harriet, fractured her wing as well and had to have it amputated. And then there's Donald. They found Donald the Eagle as a fledgling in Florida, hatched in 2006 with a tumor over his left eye. Surgically cutting the tumor from his face, it rendered Donald blind in his left eye. So they figured that his depth perception, depth perception or lack thereof would surely be his demise. For if Donald were to use the wings he were born with and fly, he could die in a crash landing. The ground destitute birds sit perched on stands, extending a foot from the ground. Children press as close as they can to rope barriers, watching the ground destitute eagles fish minnows out of buckets put in front of them. There is no hunt for them. Dinner is served. God bless the National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota, but Donald wants nothing of it. His bucket of minnows splashes in front of him with his back turned to it and the children. He's watching. He's looking. His one eyeball is scanning and surveying the window, the window between him and the river, the river beneath the flight party of bald eagles free to take off and land as they please. It's clear at this moment that Donald is willing to risk his life to do the one thing he was born to do, fly, than to sit in a well-furnished prison with a view. He knows he is the only able-bodied organism with functional wings in the building. He still has a painting until his head Swivel towards the audience, and he's looking at, he's looking at me. His one eyeball is peering into my shallow and curious soul. Hey, he says, you talking to me? I say, yeah. If they'd just take this simple leather strap off of my leg, I'd show them. I'd show them and their armchair liberal environmentalist agenda, I can do this. You look out that window and you see a river with trees on the other side of it, but tell me, have you seen the wind? Have you seen leaves flicker and flutter like the wings of a butterfly while still slave to the branch? Have you seen ancient towering trees acquiesce and sway for miles? Tell me, have you seen the dirt lift off the ground to dance, dash, and dance again? You humans are funny. You're always studying something. You're always going somewhere, but you're never enjoying it. Tell me, man, have you seen the wind? Have you seen every living thing wanting to be swept up in its glory? Every plant, every animal, every fiber, every cell wants to fly, wants to be free, yet the best your fiscal taxes can muster is a foot tall pipe to perch upon with a view of what could be through that thick piece of glass. Tucson. You got to help me, man. You got to get me out of here. I take a moment because shit. I didn't expect to be having this conversation here. <laughs> so I go back and I look him in his eye. And I say, Donald, I really wish I could. But I can't. I'm so sorry about that. It's clear Donald is living evidence that the greatest ris risk we take is by taking no action at all. It's clear that he takes a minutia of satisfaction in watching him bro his brothers and sisters ability to laugh at gravity. It's clear that the eagles inside respect Donald for his wings and the eagles outside envy him for his heart. It's clear I've been standing and staring for an obscene and perhaps perverse amount of time at this eagle. A staff member accosted me, he broke me out of my hypnosis with the bird. You know, sometimes we take them out on leashes and uh, when the wind comes through and kicks up a little bit, Donald will spread his wings and fly a little. Fucking A right, he did. <laughs> I said, I'm surprised he hasn't snapped this leash and busted that damn window by now. <laughs>